Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's first video. We're doing the first update for the Isle of Wight Festival and also download, uh, which is going to be running from the 13th to the 16th of uh, of June. So it's within the GFS time frame now, albeit at the extended range, so unreliable. But uh, we're going to start counting down to uh, these two festivals. Of course, we started the Le Mans updates uh, yesterday. That's going to be taking place over this weekend too. So all of the events and uh, festivals updates are uh, underway now at uh, Gaza. We've done another written post for Glastonbury as well uh, today. And uh, video updates of Glastonbury will be starting in around two weeks time, just under two weeks time. So uh, okay, rather interesting in terms of the events, festivals and uh, whatnot for uh, the summer. Uh, before we go on with that, though, just to say that uh, it's been a busy day at Gazo is we've uh, released some auto analogues, uh, first one of those of this season, and also, of course, Gazo is sitting around it. You can find both, those with, uh, both of those um, videos on the homepage. Right, let's get on with it then. We're going to start off on Thursday, the 13th of June. This is day one of the Isle of Wight Festival. And uh, it looks pretty good, actually. This high pressure is in across the country, particularly focused on the south. So down in the channel in the Isle of Wight, you'd expect a lot of dry weather to be on offer with that. With uh, bags of strong uh, mid-June sunshine, upper air temperatures are looking nice and warm and about ridge of high pressure. It's mainly dry, as you would expect, under an area of high pressure. There is some patchy rain across Scotland and Northern Ireland, but I mean, that's a long way from uh, the south coast and down in the channel. It looks uh, dry under that large area of high pressure. And it's warm temperatures being suggested to be kind of like low 20s down on the south coast. You probably add a, add a degree or two onto those. So I would have thought mid 20s Celsius uh, is achievable around 77 Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit, perhaps. Really good opening day uh, to the Isle of Wight Festival. Then we go on to Friday the 14th of June, and this is day two of the Isle of Wight Festival. Day one of download in Donington, or at Donington. And we're under a big area of high pressure there on uh, Friday. Large ridges sitting across, Friday 14th of June, large ridges sitting across the country, and we're pulling up this uh, increasingly warm, in fact, probably hot, southerly to southeasterly wind. Upper air temperatures are Lifting up the 15 Celsius isotherm is coming into southern parts of England and Wales. That in middle of June is probably going to get your temperature to around 30 degrees, which is 86 Fahrenheit. It's a universally dry day as well under that area of high pressure, as you'd expect, under a big uh, area of high pressure. And it would be really sunny too, probably unbroken sunshine through uh, most parts of the country. The model is suggesting temperatures are into the mid-20s Celsius there through the Midlands. I think that's undercut, though. I reckon you're probably talking about, uh, for Donington, you're probably talking about sort of uh, 27, 28, maybe 29 degrees going up towards the low to mid-80s Fahrenheit. Would be a little bit cooler uh, down in the channel for the Isle of Wight Festival, but even so, it would be very warm uh, and there would be a lot of sunshine uh, on offer as well. That's how uh, Saturday the 15th of June is looking. So this is day two of download and it's day three of the Isle of Wight Festival. And uh, it's looking hot here. Low pressure is heading in from off the Atlantic. It's going into that hot air. This is a what we call a, a Spanish plume. So hot air has plumed out of Spain, up into France, into the UK, but it's sort of turning unstable as uh, low pressure then starts to head in from off the Atlantic. We can get very thundery weather uh, out of these kind of scenarios. We can also get uh, very hot uh, temperatures. So uh, upper air temperatures look like that. It's a really hot day on uh, Saturday 15th of June. We've got the 15 Celsius isotherm moving across England. Where is it even hotter than that down across more southern parts of the country? Those are upper air temperatures, remember. Uh, there's loads of dry weather on offer through Saturday 15th of June as well. So you'll be looking at a dry day uh, really at uh, down in the channel for the Isle of Wight Bessel. You'll be looking at a dry day uh, at Donington 
two. We do see we've got these showers breaking out in the west, though. That's as a cold front's moving in from off the Atlantic. And there are high levels of cape and lifted. This is convective potential. So this tells you that there's sort of thundery potential uh, within the atmosphere. And as we go into the evening of uh, uh, Saturday 15th to Sunday 16th of June, we take thunderstorms, particularly across the northern parts of the country, uh, eastwards. Now, that's way too far away. It's 324 hours away. It's way too far away to say where those storms would be. But it is the suggestion that this is a Spanish balloon, very unstable, uh, hot, unstable air mass. And so there would be, by the end of Saturday 15th, there would be the risk of some pretty violent thunderstorms. Um, and that could affect Donington and the Isle of Wight, even though this particular GFS run actually has that, that storm risk a bit further northwards. It's a very hot afternoon being forecast for uh, Saturday the 15th of June. So um, the model is taking temperatures roughly to around 30 degrees in the southeast corner. You know, add a couple of degrees on. I think 90 Fahrenheit. 32 Celsius would be possible there uh, on Saturday the 15th of June if that came off. Probably too hot for festival goers, to be honest. And then we go through to Sunday 16th of June. June this is the final day of download at Donington. It's the final day of the Isle of Wight Festival. And high pressure is beginning to re-establish uh, across the country. We push that thundery trough away. It has introduced somewhat cooler, fresher air from off the Atlantic, although still looking very warm down across southern parts of the country. We're back to more or less dry weather again under that area of high pressure. Temperatures are lower, but still very pleasantly warm. It's sort of going for low 20s Celsius. I would suspect down in the Isle of Wight, you could probably still be seeing temperatures up to around 25, 77. Will be a little bit cooler and fresher. For Donington, probably a welcome relief after that stifling heat of uh, Friday and particularly Saturday. So what do we make of that? Well, looks uh, really uh, hot, actually, for both of those events, um, for both um, Download and the Isle of Wight Festival. Very hot weekend uh, on offer here with this uh, particular model run. What we can say, though, is that this is kind of like two weeks away. It's just under two weeks away. Some of those days, uh, the final day is two weeks away. So, obviously, it's very unreliable. Uh, you can expect quite a bit of chopping and changing from that. So, uh, this is just one model run. It's very possible that actually when we get to uh, that weekend of uh, sort of uh, 14th, 15th, 16th June, it's possible that it will be uh, quite a bit uh, cooler and more unsettled than that is showing. But that's what it's showing tonight. Very hot conditions for download and the Art of White Festival. We'll do another update for you in a couple of days' time. If if you enjoyed the video, then please like, share and subscribe. Let me know in the comments that you're enjoying uh, the uh, events and festivals updates at Gazovism. We're always happy to do more of them for you. Right, that's all for now. Thanks for watching.